So hi, Bishop Novikovsky, um, thanks for joining us. Well, so Saturday marked 500 days since the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, what did you do here in this cathedral to mark that? Yes, unfortunately, this past Saturday marked the 500th day of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by Russia, and we held a special prayer service here in the cathedral, which was, of course, for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, and especially those who are defending Ukraine, but also it was a service dedicated, in a sense, to thanking the people of Great Britain for the last 400 or so days of their standing with Ukrainians, for providing them with a safe haven, a place to be. And, and going back to when the invasion, the full-scale invasion happened, what went through your mind when you saw that? I think like everybody on the 24th of February 2021, or I'm sorry, 2022, we woke up and realized that the Russian Federation Armed Forces had indeed invaded Ukraine. There was a buildup of um, the armed forces on the Ukrainian border for months in advance, and President Putin kept saying it was simply just a um, military exercise and nothing to worry about. And Western pundits also said it was just saber rattling and our worst fear came to be that they had invaded and war, uh, a full-scale war, began in Europe. And thousands of Ukrainian families have been torn apart because of this. Um, what kind of support are you able to offer here? Well, in fact, millions of families have become both internally displaced in Ukraine and also millions of people have had to flee Ukraine, flee harm's way, and many have remained in the border countries with Ukraine, such as Poland, but many have traveled in other parts of Europe and indeed to North America, and over 175,000 people have arrived here in the United Kingdom. The majority of them that have come here are young women with their children, having to leave behind, of course, their husbands who are fighting in Ukraine. So along with the Association of Ukrainians in Great Britain, our diocese established a Ukrainian Welcome Center to help those arriving, to work with those who have sponsored the newly arrived Ukrainians, and also to be very close in contact with um, the government of the United Kingdom and also local councils who are helping in finding housing, also English language programs, um, help registering people for the NHS, for schools and whatnot. So tell me how you support people through this kind of trauma that they've been through. Well, I think first of all is that we're here to welcome people regardless of their religious background or linguistic abilities. We're here to let them know that they're welcome, that they're safe and that we care about them. And so out of time, often it's just simply being able to provide a safe space for them so that they can talk, they can discuss what they need to, from us. We can provide English language program, put them in contact with others, and just be a place where they can gather. And I think provide them with hope and let them know that here in the United Kingdom, they're welcome. And, and where do you find hope in this situation? I think we find hope in this situation through the solidarity that we have with so many people here in the United Kingdom. With, uh, we had a visit of then um, Prince Charles and uh, the Duchess of Cornwall just six days after the full-scale invasion. And King Charles has been here as well in November of last year. And there have been many other visits from dignitaries, from ordinary people to, to show that we are not alone. And I think this is providing our Ukrainian community here in the United Kingdom with hope, but also allowing us to give that hope to those who have sought shelter here with us. Well, Bishop Novikovsky, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you and God bless your viewers.